Welcome back to our first look at Coastal Callouts by PNW Parks Van. Coastal Callouts features a variety of different callouts, some boat based, some land based, some in the air. And today is our first look at it. So big shout out to him for finally releasing it to the public. I know it's been in development for a while. We actually streamed this past Monday installing LSPDFAR 0.4.6 and Coastal Callouts from scratch. I'll leave a link to that stream archive in the description below so you can check it out for yourself if you're ever curious about how do I install all this stuff. Uh, that might be a good place to start. It gives you a, a, a an overview of everything so you can see what you're getting into and if it's something you want to do. So one of the call outs you can take is actually a training mission. So I figured we would do that today and see how it goes. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and report for training and see what they got in store for us. Now Coastal Call Outs comes with a variety of different uniforms that are EUP compatible. Today we're gonna be doing some rescue training involving flying a helicopter out to a boat that is having issues in the ocean. So we wanna probably be um, a helicopter pilot outfit. So here are our options. Um, in addition to uh, the different um, outfits, we also have some local departments on here, such as Los Santos Sheriff's Department and San Andreas Highway Patrol. You can see that's how they look um, right there. So what we'll do is we will be a rescue swimmer and uh, this is what we're going to look like and we're going to spawn a vehicle so to do that the open the menu is a right bracket and here you can switch uniforms as well if you don't have eup installed what we're going to spawn is a helicopter and my helicopter um, knowledge is pretty limited so um, i think we're going to we ended up spawning the MH-60T Jayhawk, so that's the one we're going to take. You can see the Coast Guard livery. These, this all comes with Coastal Callouts. It's all included in there. So let's go ahead and take off and try to locate the ship. So there are believed to be one victim involved. Uh, reports indicate one male and zero female. So, okay. Now I do have a mod in my game called basic vehicle actions. And what that does, it allows me to use turn signals and vehicles, but that mod can cause issues with coastal callouts and some of the vehicles. So just keep that in mind if you have this installed as well. So we're gonna fly to the marked boat to begin this training. I'm excited. There's just so many different options too. Also coastal callouts, and we'll look at this in future episodes. It gives us the ability to um, pull over boats, which is really a really cool thing. Is it this yacht that we're looking at? Oh no, it's a smaller boat next to the yacht. I see a flare going up. They're not too far from the coast, so that's good. Okay, let's lower our altitude here. We have a visual. Moving okay, in. we've uh, located the victim. To enable the rescue hoist, press a J. Okay, we're gonna enable that hoist. Okay, the hoist has been enabled. Um, there's a hoist menu. There's a hoist camera. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're looking at our altitude too in the upper right hand corner. Lots of menus. Um, and there's a helicopter cam too. So what we want is a rescue basket. There's our basket right there. So let's get over here. Okay. So the other thing it's telling us to do is open the coastal callouts menu and go, let's do hover. Yeah, there we go. That should keep us 
pretty stable. Um, switch to the co-pilot seat. Okay, press. Okay, the hoist. Okay, press the start button to get on the hoist. Oh. <laughs> okay, now not how to do it. That's how to get decapitated. Uh, probably needed to lower the hoist a little bit before I hopped into it. All right, here's try number two. We got a dinghy, it looks like, with the flare going off. So what we're going we to do in. is we're going to go into hover mode, go into the co-pilot seat. Go into our hoist, create our hoist. All right, um, find the boat here. So the boat's moving a little bit. We're gonna have it follow the nearest ped. Keep the altitude auto. All right, let's go ahead and hop on this hoist and hope my head doesn't get chopped off. Safe hover heist. Hoist must be raised all the way up. Okay. So there's our hoist. I think if we hit Y, we can get out on it. Oh. Okay, here's our uh, person here. Swim to the victim. So obviously I did that wrong. Where is the helicopter? I can still control the control the hoist. We just gotta find the helicopter. Should be right above us. I'm gonna keep lowering it till I see the hoist. We'll pretend it's remote controlled. Oh, there's a hoist. I see it coming. There it is. So I just gotta get it low enough here. Um, the problem I was doing, I was using the wrong keys. Okay, that that's as much as a hoist will drop, I believe. So we've got a pilot up there. Um, let's get that altitude lower. There we go. That should be enough. All right. I think I was just too high. So ideally you fall down on the hoist, you wouldn't just <laughs> do what I did, but um, you know, it happens. I'm still learning this. Um, there's a lot of key combinations, a lot of features, which I mean, it means it's a very in-depth mod. You just, there is a learning curve though. So if we do shift G, so we've grabbed her. And now we just need to swim over to our hoist, which I believe is just kind of falling the the boat. All right. So how do we attach? Left shift star. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> this boat is trying to kill us. So 
So yeah, the hoist needs to come up um, slightly. All right, we're on it. Whew. Finally, I made it. So we are going up. We got her rescued. I don't know uh, why she didn't go in the boat, but this is a training mission. So the boat being out there was probably just a safety precaution, honestly. Um, putting the plane, the helicopter in autopilot to to stay there was very important. Um, it was attaching to that other boat that was in the area, which is fine. It kept in the area and uh, from us drifting too far. So you can see that hoist level in the top right, we're about 60. I don't know what the unit measure is for that, feet or meters, but uh, we're almost up there. Okay, locate all the victims. Okay, so how do we get in there? So let's raise it all the way up. We're gonna place a G to place her in there. So she's been placed in there. Uh, to get back in the helicopter, lower the hoist, attach yourself by it, and then raise the hoist and press star to get back in the helicopter okay and then we're gonna take her to a drop-off zone so right now we're gonna ch change this mode to hover and we are going to be back into the pilot seat all right and then remove hover mode and we're gonna fly to a hospital or an airstrip to drop off the recovered swimmer. Wow, that's pretty cool. So that's how a rescue mission works. Um, you got the helicopter, you've got the hoist. The basket stuff, I'm not sure exactly how that works. If you guys have used this type of call out before, let me know. I'm actually really curious. Um, because this is a training mission, we're not gonna take her to the hospital. We're just gonna take her to this airstrip here. I believe there's a landing pad right there. Yep. By this hangar. She's probably very uh, traumatized from that whole experience. Another thing I'm going to have to work on are my helicopter skills. What's not hit? the plane so we've been decapitated our landing skills suck but uh, it's something we can learn all right and there's a uh, an ambulance there right on the strip and then it gives us a mission timer too um, for having one rescue it took us uh, about 12 minutes so I think we can then delete the hoist and uh, it's good to go. There's our co-pilot as well. Really cool stuff. Um, we're gonna be taking a look at a lot of these mods. Let me know what you think of it. And uh, hopefully I'll get better at it. Just like with LSPDFR, there's a, a good bit of a learning curve. And I, I think I've got most of the stuff I had in uh, 0.4.3 was the last version of, or 0.4.4 was the last version of LSPDFR I was on. So. We'll get back to normal patrols as well. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.